What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, it is a brand new season, the October season started. And we're looking to get started here with some wins with this Cherum Sun team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. It really goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are really support me and helping me grow as a content creator. But like I said, today we're using Cherim. And Cherim is such a fun Pokemon to use in the sun. I feel like he really benefits from the sun most of all out of a lot of different Pokemon. But with that out the way, Let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Yveltal. And Yveltal, just so solid in Series 13. One of those consistent Pokemon that just works well on any single team. It's got Dark Aurora, and also have the Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Foul Play, Snarl for Special Attack Drops, Oblivion Wing for Stab and HP Recovery, and Tailwind. I've been seeing a lot of Yveltal's rock Tailwind as of recently, and it works really well, so I do dig it. I definitely do dig it. Second Pokemon is going to be Zekrom over here with Life Orb and Terravolt. Going to be one of those Pokemon that is going to be really good for Dynamax on this team. It's got Bolt Strike. It's got Dragon Call for two stab moves. It's got Dual Wing Beat for coverage. And last but not least, it's got Protect. Middle left is going to be the OP Pokemon Kyogre. But not just any OP Pokemon. OP Kyogre with Choice Scarf. Yeah, it's super strong, super fast, outspeeds moves, and can pick up some big time KOs. It's got Drizzle to set the rain, and then moveset is fairly normal with Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Groudon. We got Kyogre, we got Groudon, we go into either or of the weather, so whatever we want to do and whatever we're feeling for that match. It's got Drought, it's got Leftovers as its item, and it's got Precipice Blades, Thunder Punch, Bulk Up to actually boost its stats, and then Protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Cherim. Cherim in the sun is really good because ally Pokemon will actually benefit from him as well. It's got Flower Gift as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. Palm Puff for HP recovery for ally Pokemon, or just a hitting move. Then we got Helping Hand, Sunny Day, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Incineroar over here. And Incineroar is just, again, one of those consistent Pokemon. Really good on any team. Super, super good. It's got Intimidate alongside with the Fascia Berry. Then it's Flare Blitz, Taunt. Parting shot and fake out for its move set. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins in the brand new season. First match coming at you guys, and look at the team that we're going up against. Really cool squad. He's got Magirna alongside with Wigglytuff, Storm Drain Gastron, Lapras, Zero Aura, and G Max Pikachu. I love this team. Looking really cool, but we could definitely take a weather right off the rip. So, you know what? I'm just going to go straight in the ground on, straight in the Sun Gift uh, Cherim. And then we're going to roll off from there. So I'm going to bring in them too. I don't need Kyogre. I'm going to bring Zekrom. Just got to watch out for Lightning Rod. And then last but not least, I could go Yabelto. Or I could bring Kyogre for a back end Pokemon. But I really don't like it with the, all the Storm Drain on the field, right? I really don't like it. But I really don't like Yabelto too much either with the Ice Pokemon and Electric Pokemon. That is tough. And he does have Magirna, who is Fairy. Ooh, do I go Kyogre just like back end? I think I just throw Kyogre here. I think I like that a lot. I think I like that a lot. Because if I can get rid of Gastrodon and just like maybe if he does have Gastrodon on the field, just twist to an Ice Beam, I think we can be fine. I think we can be fine with that. So you know what? I am going to bring the Kyogre. I'm doing it. I'm bringing it. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think they should add more weather and terrains in Pokemon like competitive battles? So I feel like if they add one or two, it could definitely drastically change everything that goes on the thing. So let me know in the comment section down below your guys' answer. But he's going to end up going Zero Aura. Alongside with Pikachu and um I think I just drop a blades here, right? I think I have to drop a blades, but Flower Gift's gonna come out here. I could help a hand this shot. He could fake me out, he can do a lot. Um I could bulk up, I could just blades here. Or I could Dynamax. I think he might Dynamax as well. I think I just blades, right? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense just going to with blades. Like, who could he swap into here? He does have Fake Out. I know he has Fake Out, so it makes me kind of want to just Dynamax, which I think I'm going to do. Just get rid of the Pikachu. Who else does he have? He has no Flying Pokemon, so I'm really cool with just dropping this Quake in the next slot. I'm going to Quake and, um... Do I even help a hand? I might just protect this Cherim here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect Cherim. Cherim, I am going to protect you, and I'm straight up Dynamax. I was going to go into the Blaze, but... There was, there's definitely a chance that he's going to fake out my ground, right? 
So, might as well Dynamax it. Might as well Dynamax it. But, yo, we got that Flower Gift out here. We get, I think we get special defense boost from that, right? I think all ally Pokemon get a huge special defense boost from the Flower Gift. I gotta look and see into it. Let's see what he ends up doing. Pikachu's gonna protect him. We still should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Should still be able to do a nice amount of damage. We're gonna protect our Cherim. And what's he going into with Zero Aura? That's the real question. Zero Aura is just gonna. Oh, is that an electric terrain? Okay. A little electric terrain? It's an odd move. Not really see that coming, but solid protect from his Pikachu. But we're still gonna be able to do a nice amount of damage. Wow, I should just drop the blades, man. We just dropped the blades, but we're gonna quake here and oh my god, we just took out a Pikachu through a protect. This dude's upset. He's not having it. Was it a crit? It wasn't even a crit. It wasn't even a crit. Pikachu's just that weak. Pikachu is just that weak. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a glass cannon. It can hit like a truck with that light ball. But other than that, it is it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. The solid turn from us there. We can start helping him. We can start doing some big damage, but I wonder who he's gonna go into from here. That electric terrain play just wasn't it. It just was not it. So he's gonna go into Lapras next. Definitely gonna Dynamax the Lapras. Um, I think I could just help him this one to get after it. I mean, we do have an electric move. I could also Quake. I mean, special defense boost is here. But uh, let me see what Flower Gift does again. I'm really curious. I think it just gives a massive special defense boost. Flower Gift boosts the attack and special defense a bit. Oh, attack too. Oh God, that is awesome. The special defense is boosted for the team. I love it. Um, I don't really know what he's gonna do with Zero Aura, but I feel like we just go into a Max Lightning here with the terrain attack boost from Flower Gift. And we helping hand the shot. I feel like that's just that's just got to be the play, right? It's got to be the play. He withdraws Zero Or now. And he's gonna show his final Pokemon, which could be Gastron. Yeah, it's gonna be Gastron. So I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool with Gastron just coming in here, and that's an odd change. Maybe he thinks I'm going for a ground move into it, but he just kind of just swaps into that, and I'm fine with that. I really am. He's gonna drop an Ice move into me, but again, we're plus one on special defense. We have the Flower Gift special defense boost. Dude, Chairman Grab, I'm phenomenal. It is phenomenal. <laughs> I didn't even know it gave, it gave an attack boost. I thought it was all about the defenses. But we're gonna Helping Hand this shot. So now we got the Electric Terrain boosted for this damage. We got the Helping Hand boost. We got the Flower Gift boost. Super effective boost. And oh my God, we are ripping. That might be one of the first times I destroyed a G-Max Lapras in one shot. Cause those things are incredibly bulky. We just rip into it. This guy's probably sitting here like, dude, how is this guy doing so much damage? He's hacking. He's definitely hacking. But we are just ripping through this. And we're going to sweep this one. No problem. We're going to sweep this battle. No problem. So we're going to bring out Zara Aura. He has fake out ready to go. Uh, Cherim's probably going to get faked out. I feel like at this point, we just drop a Quake. Do we pop, pop Sash? Or do we just take out Gastron? I think we just take out Gastron. And before the, uh, before the fake out even comes out, we can go straight for a helping hand. But he could cancel battle. But this is going to be light work in battle number one. A complete... Dominating match from us. Chairman Ground, I'll get the work done. And he does not cancel battle. So Helping Hand's gonna fly here again. Give us that 1.3 boost. And he's gonna bounce with Zero Aura thinking we're going after him. Nah, dude, we're not going after Zero Aura. I'm not worried about you, Zero Aura. You're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything. Because I'm just gonna protect my what's it called next turn. I'm just gonna protect my chair because we're looking to win this match without taking a single hit of damage. That'd be wild. That would be wild. Without an opponent quitting, we don't take a single hit of damage be incredible that would be incredible we are all we're on base to do it i gotta protect charm here though i have to protect the lovely little charm here i haven't got touched yet <laughs> look at this dude this is this is so broken i'm gonna blades here and i am going to protect i do not want to get touched hopefully just cancels the battle but let's see how some plays out we're gonna protect here protect our lovely little charm and he's gonna go into a bounce and we block the bounce yo <laughs> We haven't taken a single hit of damage yet. Hopefully this thing's not sashed. Let's see. Is it sashed? It isn't sashed and we do it. We take out a full team complete sweep without taking any single damage. Pokemon Sword and Shield has been out for about three years now. And I don't think I have ever done that in a battle. Completely swept the team without them quitting and ourselves taking no damage. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. That deserves a like if you guys have been watching this far. Definitely like up the video. But we're hopping into the second battle here. Going up against a Ho-Oh team. I've been seeing Ho-Oh a lot on the rank ladder. And it is definitely really, really strong. He also has the Wimscott. He has his Ascene. He has the Groudon. And then he has Lunala and Kyogre. Okay. Um, I could go into the Flower Gift again. But I just don't think that's going to be a play. Intimidate Incineroar could be solid alongside with the Beltal. And then bring in Zekrom in the back end. I kind of dig that. 
And then maybe just Kai Ogre in the back end as well. I kind of like that. We're going to leave the Sun guys out of here. We don't want the Sun dudes here. So yeah, I really do like this. Hopefully he leads some sort of physical attacker that could be really nice for us so our Timony can get some value. But I feel like he leads Whimsicott alongside with maybe Ho-Oh, which I wouldn't mind. Again, Ho-Oh is a physical attacker. We can get off a nice little Intimidate and we can roll out from there. But he's got to lead Whimsicott alongside with somebody else, right? Unless he's going Lunala onto like the Trick Room kind of slot. That could be uh, that could be scary as well. But we'll see. We shall see. Bum -ba -da -bum, bum -ba -ba -bum. He's going to end up leading. Who is that? Wim's Cotton Zassy, so Intimidate's going to be great here. So this is a solid first turn. We have, uh, what's called ready to go. I think I just set up a Tailwind. And we kind of roll out from there. Nice, lovely Tailwind. And do I have Protect on, uh... Do I have Protect on this Pokemon? Onto the, uh... What is it? Do I have Protect on this Yveltal? I don't think I do, which is kind of upsetting. But I feel like what's called just Protect, right? Does Zassy just Protect? Does Zassian just protect? I feel like Zassian protects here. I feel like we could just get a free KO here. Or do I set up Talon? I think we just get a free KO. I feel like Zassian's got to protect. I think we're going for Fake Out in that slot. Yep, there's Protect. No, he protects Whimsicott. No shot. That will protect here. No shot. He protects Whimsicott, dude. Now my Yvelto is probably dead here. But enough comes in hot. Yo, no shot! No shot, he just protected the Wimscott like that. Get out my face with that. Get out my face. Get out my face. That's a great play. I'll give it to him all day. Protecting the Whimsy, yo. Whimsy getting after it. Whimsy getting after it. Um, what can I do here? Oh, I don't know what I could do here. I could try to set up a Tailwind. I mean, I might just go into a Flare Blitz here. That hurts, man. Yo, that hurts. That hurts. I'm gonna just tailwind. Try to get that off. But that hurts. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That one hurts the soul. I was sitting there. I was just like, okay, Zassian might protect. And I was thinking of doing it. I was thinking of just going straight after Zassian. But I was just like, dude, the chance are he's gonna protect. He goes for a blade here. And who's he gonna go into? That's gotta be Yveltha, right? He's just playing it safe. He doesn't wanna miss this blade. So he's gonna go into this. Can we eat that? No shot. No shot. So no Tailwind comes out here. We're going to be able to Flare Blitz. And I think, do I just roll out in the Kyogre? Kyogre Choice Scarf can out outspeed these guys, but still, it could be nice. The Flare Blitz comes through here. This is a nice chunk of damage. We are going to take some nice recoil. And we're going to go from there. Um, I could Dynamax the Ogre. That wouldn't be a bad play. Dynamax and the Kyogre would not be a bad play. I think we, ha we might have to. But I'm trying to think of the Pokemon he has in the back end. I can drop a Hailstorm. I can take out the Whimscott with that. But at the same time, I would be changing up weather. But what other Pokemon could he have in the back end? Groudon. Lunala, Kyogre. Ho-Oh. Uh -oh. He has a lot of different options here. Hmm. I think I just finish off this uh, Zacian. That will take him out even in the rain. I think I just Dynamax and I Hailstorm here. Get rid of the Whimscott with the Focus Ash. Wow, dude, tough turn one, yo. I'm so upset at that. I'm so upset at that. But that was that was power moves by our opponent. That was power moves by the opponent. Real power moves. Most people protect the Zassian. I was so expecting Zassian to protect. If not, if the Zassian wasn't protecting like it didn't, I was not expecting the Whimscott to protect. So even if the Zassian wasn't protecting, I was kind of cool with it. He's going to drop a player off. We're going to be able to soak up pretty well here. Oh, he's going to drop an energy ball. He's going to double down into me. Dude, he's taking he's doing some big damage to me for no reason. Leave me alone. Hellstorm's gonna fly here. We're gonna take out the women's guy, and I don't like this battle, man. I don't like this. Their start is going to win them the battle. Their start is going to win them the battle, which is tough news. We gotta waste out Tailwind. Maybe I can max guard a turn. Actually, I do not have max guard, which kind of sucks. But we just gotta start playing this one's a bit slower. Blair Blitz is gonna fly here. Bop, see you later, Zass. You can get them on out here. And I don't know where I go from there. Like a little bit of recoil damage, but we pick up a double kill. That's huge. And I feel like he's going to bring out Pokemon that can just take out my Kyogre, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks because I'm going to need my Kyogre to get off at least one more turn, right? One more turn, but I don't think it can do it with 148 HP and, they, and them having a Tailwind up. It's tough news. But I wonder who he's going to bring out. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be like Groudon and Ho-Oh. There's Ho-Oh. Is it going to be Groudon? 
Yep, Brown on Hell will come out here, and that's a tough little combo for us, considering they have the drought. I mean, we have Flare Blitz ready to go, but he has Blades, he has, he has everything. He has everything, so he's going to Dynamax to Ho-Oh, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, and I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. I'm going to go into a Flare Blitz here, and I'm just going to go into a Hailstorm, or I change up the weather. I mean, I could change up the weather. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll change up the weather, try to bring it back. But again, I think he just Dynamaxes and he picks up two quick KOs and then he just finishes me off. Right? Wow, dude. That just goes to show how big turn one can be in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Or in any Pokemon game. Like, turn one and your lead can legit win you or lose you the game in some instances. And just like today, he made a great play in turn one. He ended up winning the battle. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to win this battle. I just don't see a way of us getting out of this. Yes, we could always going to be able to do some big damage. He's going to flare, probably. Uh, he might not flare. He's probably just going to airstream. Probably airstream into my Kyogre and then blades, right? Hopefully one of us can dodge the blades. Can we eat that? We don't even eat that. So, yeah, that's GG's. That is game. That is set. And that is match. Even if we dodge this, uh, dodge this blades here, he still takes us out. No problem. He's still going to be able to win this. Rough, rough battle number two. But, hey, we're one and one We're going to be one and one That means we can hop to a third and uh, look for that winning record. But I'm going to Flare Blitz here. Well, he's going to actually Blades, and that's going to connect. Never mind. No Flare Blitz coming out here. Because we are dead. We are dead. And then he's just going to go into a Flare into uh, my Zekrom and a Blades in my Zekrom. And that's just straight up GG. That is just game, set, match. No problem whatsoever. How many turns actually left in Tailwind? It really don't matter. I don't have Dynamax. I can't take him out in one shot. And I don't even think I can outspeed. Actually, I might be able to. Let me see. Let me see your speed, little buddy. Little buddy. 156, actually. Oh, no. They're airstream boosted. Never mind. We lost this one. I'm running it. We're hopping into our third and final battle. And we're going to look for a winning record in that one. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Torkoal Venusaur Sun team. You don't really get to see Torkoal too much anymore. Considering Groudon is a thing. And everybody just uses him. But I guess for trick room purposes, Torkoal is still that guy. But he also has... Uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex, he has Zero Aura, and then he's rocking Grimmsnarl and Groudon. But I feel like Torkoal is not going to come in here, considering he only has one Pokemon to pop Trick Room, which is going to be Calyrex. And I feel like Calyrex just does not want to pop Trick Room, right? So I'm not even going to worry about the Torkoal. I do not think it's going to be coming in. He could definitely bring in Venusaur, but I feel like we don't, we shouldn't go into the Sonic people. I feel like we should go into like maybe like Incineroar and like Kyogre alongside with Zekrom and what is that? Yveltal. I feel like that could be good. I feel like we have to get off Tailwind. I feel like we have to take some sort of speed control. So I'm going to lead them to it. And I think we're just going to go into the same team, right? Same team's looking pretty good for us. So I'm going to lead these guys. I'm going to get after it. And we're going to roll strong. So hopefully lead some physical attackers. Probably Zero Aura is going to get the lead. I'm going to try to pop a Tailwind. A lovely little Tailwind. If I can get off Tailwind, take some speed control, that could be really, really good for us. That could be really beneficial for us. But I think he's going to lead Zero or maybe alongside Shadow Rider. Could be an option. But no, he's going to go Groudon and Venusaur. Groudon and Venusaur is going to get the lead. Um, hmm. We definitely got a Tailwind. We definitely have the Tailwind. And I feel like we just straight up Fire Blitz into Venusaur, right? I think that's our play. Because Groudon might protect. If Venusaur's going to Dynamax, Groudon's probably going to protect. Or Groudon might just stay in with a Bleeds. But I think Yveltal is faster than Groudon, right? So I should be able to get off this Tailwind. And get off a of Flare Blitz at the same time, right? Yeah, you should be faster than Groudon all day. Okay, I'm cool with this. So yeah, I'm just going to Tailwind here. Take a bit of speed. And then I'm just going to go straight for the Flare Blitz. I don't mind if... Uh, if Incineroar goes down to Blades as long as it gets off this Flare Blitz. I think it's a solid turn. But he could go for a Sleep Powder here as well, which could be tough. But nope, he's going to opt to Dynamax just like we thought. And that should be the Venusaur, right? That should be the Venusaur. I mean, it could be the Groudon. He could be going for Sleep Powders. But I think it's the Venusaur, right? No, it is the Groudon. It is the Groudon. So I think he's going to be putting my Yveltal to sleep. And at the same time, he is going to go for a Quake. That could suck. Let's see what he does here. There's a Sleep Powder into... Yeah, come on now. I hate Sleep Powder, man. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So we are slumped. This dude's taking me to town right now. Um, I think we just bring in Kyogre at this point, right? He's gonna, oh, he's going to lightning me. That's fine. We're able to soak. We'll waste out these Dynamax turns. I'm cool with that. We shall waste out these Dynamax turns. I'm fine with that. I have Choice Scarf Kyogre in the back end. 
We're gonna eat up our citrus berry. Lovely. He's gonna set electric terrain and really not get any value out of it. And we're gonna flare blitz and probably bring down this Venusaur to Sash, right? This has got this has gotta be a Sash Venusaur, right? I feel like it has to be, right? It's not. Okay, even better. Even better. We get rid of that thing. The Sash has gotta be on the uh probably the Calyrex, right? Or even the Zero Aura can be holding it, but I would think that the what's called would have the Calyrex. But not a bad turn from us then. Not a bad turn from us. Torkoal's oh Torkoal's gonna come out of here. Torkoal's scary, man. <laughs> I don't like Torkoal. I don't like you, Torkoal. I do not like you. Um, hmm. I'll go for a Snarl. Just try to drop that special attack on that thing. I could go for a Parting Shot and get out Kyogre at this point. That'd be my play. Snarl. Do a beautiful Parting Shot. Into the Torkoal or, or into the Groudon? I think we should go into the Groudon here. But I think he might just take out my Incineroar at this point. Let's see. Oh, I wake up. That's a beautiful wake up. It's a big time wake up because we get that. Wow, yo, that damage on the Torkoal? There's a crit on the ground on, but the damage on the Torkoal was ridiculous. Special attack drop. We love it. Yo, Dark Aurora rips up. Dark Aurora rips up, and here comes the Quake. I could have Tailwind there, which could have been big. And he's going to take me out from there. So he takes me out. That's fine. Can my Yveltal eat up this Eruption, maybe? Because if I can, I can just roll into it. I mean, I think we're fine here. He has both of his drought Pokemon out here. I think I just roll into Kyogre and start dropping some water spouts. All right, it seems pretty good. Seems pretty promising. And he's going to go for an eruption. Can you eat this up, Yveltal? I don't think he can. Let's see. Oh, you can. I love you. I love you. What an awesome person. So now I know Yveltal is going to be faster than both these guys. So I can set up a free Tailwind here. And just drop a beautiful water spout. A lovely little water spout coming in hot here. Lovely little water spout. So yeah, we'll tailwind just so Zekrom can have speed later. Even though I think he will have speed. No, because he has to have Shadow Rider in the back end. He has to have Shadow Rider. I'm just going to end up water spouting. He might protect one and swap the other one. But still. I think we're sitting in a pretty spot. Really, really good spot. We have a lot of pressure on this guy. We're about to get off a tailwind. Everything is looking... Looking dandy. It's looking mwah, chef's kiss. That's how it's looking. He does not do anything, and he just lets this water spout tee off on his team. Big mistake. Big mistake. Leaving Torko and Groudon in the rain while Kyogre's ready to go with the water spout. Full HP. Big mistake. Did not even try to make a play. That's going to be GG's. And I'm going to try to win this battle without even Dynamaxing. Without even Dynamaxing. And if I had to guess, it's probably Shadow Rider in the back. And Shadow Rider couldn't even 1v1 my Yveltal because my Yveltal is a beast. Oh, and it's going to be Zero Aura. Okay. That's fine. It is fine. It is fine. And I'm just going to go for a foul play. Rip into it. And just a water spout at the same time. Because we are choice into it. But I feel like this guy just cancels the battle. And we grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Right? Show it to me. Show me the cancel battle. Just end it. Come on. There's just no need to like pick a move. You know it's over. I still have Dynamax too. I still have an extra Pokemon in the back end. Come on now. Come on now. There's no need to think about your moves here. There's no need. There is no need because there's no chance. There's no chance. It's just not happening. Young Grasshopper. <laughs> it's not happening, Young Grasshopper. You are not beating Sensei. Or is he just trolling me and wasting out the 60 seconds? He's like, oh, if I lost this game, Jeans is going to wait these 60 seconds. <laughs> well, Water Spout flies here. Does this guy have Sash? No, he does not have Sash. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. We grab ourselves a winning record. What a way to get the brand new season started. Grab ourselves a winning record and go into a one. But yo, Cherim and Groudon in battle number one. Complete sweep. We did not take any damage. And then we ended up picking up a victory in battle number three with that Kyogre coming in the back end and just dominating the rest of the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.